Hi everybody, this is Matt. Thanks for watching and welcome back. Like many of you, what happens when it comes to purchasing a firearm? A lot of times we don't have enough money to buy that one thing that we think that we really want or need. And so what, what happens? What do we do? Typically, we tend to trade in a firearm at our local gun shop in order to obtain what we want. So that's what I attempted to do today. And I, boy, let me tell you what, I was in for a big surprise. Here I have a Kimber 1911 chambered in 45 ACP. So I found what I wanted and I uh, talked to the dealer and I'm like, hey, I would really love to trade this in. He took one look at it and he's like, Matt, sorry, not gonna happen. I'm like, huh, excuse me? He's like, nope. He's like, I've had so many problems with Kimbers. I made a promise to myself that I am not going to carry them again. I am not going to take them in on trade. And I'm standing there kind of flabbergasted. I'm like, um, well, okay. I guess that simply is what it is. I mean, it's his business. He can choose to do what he wants. But that's the first time that I have heard something like that the first time I've been rejected. Well, it just so happened that I had something else with me that in case I wouldn't get quite the trade-in value off of the Kimber, that I was willing to get rid of this. This is my Volkortsen Scorpion. And again, denied, completely denied. He's like, it's a rare gun. I don't see too many of them. This is really for a special person who wants to shoot bullseye or something. He's like, frankly, I think it'd be just sitting around in my shop forever. And so, sorry, not interested. And at that point, I'm like, holy cow. Um, that's kind of a major buzzkill, but you know, okay. And I went ahead and I'm like, all right, well, you know, I appreciate you uh, taking your time. And I had one of my daughters with me, and as I'm walking out, I'm like, you know what? That was weird. That's the first time that ever happened. And so just a word to the wise, sometimes we might have something that has been of value to us, but to a local gun shop, it might not have any trade-in value whatsoever. So what am I going to do? Well, I guess I'm going to try to find what it is that I wanted at another local gun shop or even, you know, in the next town and see if they're willing to take something like this in on trade. So we can't always trade things off. And I believe that that's the first time in my life that I've actually run into that before. And I just thought that I would share the experience with you. So anyway, enough of that. Thanks for watching as always. And until next time, everybody, be safe out there and have a good one.